Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of our Chapter 5 topics. We're going to take a look at sorting data using our subtotal feature, using our column subtotal feature, which yields an outline, and we'll investigate the outline a little bit. And then we'll finish off with copying visible cells to another sheet. So the data here in this sheet January, and this file can be found in your eLearn course under our regular Excel files for in-class demo. And we have about 60 or so rows of information for the revenue from a particular meal on a particular day, the number of customers for that particular meal, so overall in the restaurant, and then the amount spent per person. So if we wanted to sort this, let's take a look. We'll go to our data tab. We're going to have to click our sort icon. Please remember you have to have your cell inside the data. If your cell is not inside the data, here it's outside, and if I go sort, it's going to say we can't apply it to a selected range. So we get inside the data somewhere. We're going to hit sort, and I'll get rid of these two levels. And what we're going to sort on is the actual weekday. So I'm going to add a level. I'm going to sort by weekday. And I'm going to take a custom sort, and I'm going to use the days of the week, as they say, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I want them in that order from Sunday to Saturday. And I'll go OK. I'll add another level. We're going to do the meal this time. And our meals are only lunch and dinner. And if I leave it alphabetical, A to Z, then dinner's going to show up before lunch. But lunch happens at noontime, and dinner's around 5 or later. So I'm going to reverse that order. I'm going to go Z to A. And now I have my data sorted for the weekday, the actual meal within that weekday, and then the associated revenue, number of customers, amount spent per person, etc. What we're going to do now is I want to have a summary for each day of the week. So I want to get a subtotal. And I'm going to do a subtotal at each change in weekday. So every time I have a change in weekday, I'm going to insert a summary line or a subtotal line. We're going to use the function average in this particular case and I want the average for revenue, number of customers, and amount spent per person. So I need to select each of those. I'm going to go replace current subtotals and put my summary below the data and I'll go OK. And now what we have is a summary for each day of the week, average revenue, average number of customers, average amount spent per person. And if I cursor all the way to the bottom, here's my last day, Saturday of the week, with its averages, and there's, here's my grand average. Now when we do this subtotal, what we wind up happening, what we wind up doing, excuse me, is that we have this outlined feature, or subtotal feature, by our rows, 1, 2, and 3, and we have some negatives and positives here. Now if I click on 1, it collapses everything, and I only see the grand average. If I click on 2, I see the actual day average and the grand average. And if I click on 3, then I see all my data expanded again. I'm going to go back to 1, and we can see here now I have a plus. So plus means expand that level. And I've expanded it, and I can see now everything. I'm going to go back to 2 here, and I'm going to say, OK, well, I'm at my 2 level. And I can see I have some pluses, and I have one minus. So plus, expand, minus, collapse. So I don't want to collapse things. I want to just show the Sunday detail. So this type of feature in subtotals with the outlines allows us to um, very easily show or hide data, say if we're doing in a pr presentation in a meeting. So I'm going to collapse that again, and I'm going to expand it all the way out, so clicking on my three. And the next thing I want to do is not just have subtotals along the rows, but I also want it along the columns. And to do the columns, we're going to use group and auto outline. Now it will ask us, do you want to modify your existing outline? And we'll just go OK. And notice here that I now have a one and a two for the columns and an expansion or an outline along the column headings. If I hit the one, it collapses those last three columns. If I hit the two, it expands them. 
If I hit the negative, it hides column D and E. If I hit the positive, it expands so that I can see column D and E. So that's the subtotal grouping feature and the outline. I'm going to now collapse everything so that I only see the day averages and the actual grand average. And if I wanted to copy this information, and if I just tried highlighting from A1 to F71, and I do my standard Control C for copying, I'm going to oops, I'm going to open a new spreadsheet here, and I come over here and I go Control V. Well, what winds up happening is that it copied all my data, okay? And I don't necessarily want to do that, okay? So I'm going to go back to my January. I'm going to escape my selection, and I'm going to highlight what I want to see, so A1 to F71, but only the stuff I see on the, the uh, screen. I'm going to go to my Home tab. I'm going to go to Find and Select, go to Special, and I only want to see visible cells, okay? And then I go OK, and now when I go Control C, notice what happens. It's highlighting these little pieces, so A1 to F1, A10 to F10. And now when I go into my new sheet and go Control V to Paste, now I've only copied what I saw. So let's try that again. I'm going to escape out of here. I'm going to expand uh, Mondays, okay, and I'm going to do the same type of thing. I'm going to highlight what I want to have copied. I'm going to go to Find and Select, go to Special, Visible Cells Only, OK, Control C to copy, go to my new sheet, Go to a new spot, control V, and now I've again I've only copied what I can see. So that's just a little bit of an introduction to uh, sorting, to using the subtotal feature. So we use the sort icon, we use the subtotal feature, the grouping feature, and then also we did on the home tab, we did the find and select, go to special, and visible cells only.